What's happening, everyone? Welcome to the webinar. This is Matthew Harris calling in from beautiful Cabareta, Dominican Republic. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day, and I'm excited beyond belief to really, to really to to learn from Eileen today because I'm actually not going to be in the teaching mode. I'm actually going to be in the learning mode today. A lot of you guys have been asking about how we're driving traffic and what are ways that you can use to generate traffic online to your websites, and Eileen is really the master at that. And so, um, I understand a few things but why get in the way of your success let me introduce you to who's driving all our traffic to our business and so as we're getting started grab a notepad and a pen be in a place where you can take some notes and also if you're feeling feeling really excited you can also share on, on social media that you're actually being in a, in a webinar right now and you're learning from Eileen and Matthew Harris again this is Matthew Harris calling in from Dominican Republic we actually had some issues the first time we did this you know a lot of times people think oh you're in a third world country the internet must be weird. It actually has been pretty good so far until everybody in the Dominican Republic decided to come to our little town of Cabarete for something they call Semana Santa. And it actually shut down pretty much all of our internet connections because everybody was online. Everybody was on their cell phones. So anyway, we, you know, we just roll with it. And it's, the reason I'm even sharing that with you guys is you're going to come across some challenges in your business, whatever they may be. If you just stay in the game long enough, those are things that can actually separate you from your competition because your competition may be also dealing with the same kind of frustrations and they'll give up. And so if you just fight through it, you're giving yourself a chance to not only learn the skills and master your business and whatever it is that you're involved in, but also you can separate yourself from the masses because of those barriers of entry. Technical difficulties a lot of times on the online space are those kinds of barriers of entry. So congratulations if you're having some challenges and congratulations if you fight through them. So we're definitely fighting through some of those challenges. But again, welcome everyone. Get ready to take some awesome, awesome notes. You can also stop by our Facebook page, facebook.com slash wealthwithmatthew and leave us any comments there as we're going through this webinar. If you're watching the replay, definitely go there and like us on Facebook uh, as well as share Sharing is caring, so be sure to share this with your friends and your other followers on other social media avenues because I'm sure they're also looking for ways to generate traffic to their businesses as well. And the final thing, but probably the most important thing, is to pay attention. Paying attention pays big money, big, 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 big money, guys, especially if you're looking for results. Paying attention to people who have results, who are willing to share with you how to get results is a big deal. And so I'm going to actually introduce you to my lovely wife, Eileen. She's my business partner as well. We have been in business now for years together. And it's interesting because that wasn't something we planned on. Both of us had careers. I had a career in the entertainment sports, sports world. Eileen was actually doing her doctorate and both of our in psychology and both of our careers fell apart this, at the same time and so we had to find a way to make money and so we got into the network marketing online marketing world about four and a half years well yeah about four and a half years ago now maybe a little earlier than that, maybe four years total and just out of desperation and really started looking to take massive action and, and um, I was trying all kinds of things online to generate leads I was going through all these different trainings spending a lot of money that I didn't have on trainings that didn't give me results and trying different black hat online generation tra tra traffic generation stuff like backlinking and you know doing all this article spinning and all this kind of extra stuff it was so complicated and gave so little results that we were starving 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 in our business and finally we were able to break through and what's interesting through that whole process is Eileen says you know let me try this Facebook thing out so she started doing some ads on Facebook and she took my Facebook fan page from I think like 500 likes to over 6,000 likes in less than 45 days. We were generating thousands of leads a month, hundreds a day, and our sales went through the roof in terms of our information products and our affiliate products that we are affiliates for, as well as our recruiting went nuts. We were able to bring a lot more people into our business as well. And so guys, you're in for a treat. I am a living proof <laughs> that I, what Eileen does is absolutely works. It's what's driving our business when it comes to driving traffic. And I figured out how to maximize advertising with Facebook and so right now there really is no one better to learn from in my opinion when it comes to generating traffic with Facebook than Eileen and so you guys are in for a treat let me pass the mic over to her so you should you I can get out of the way and let the real pros go to work but you guys make sure you take full let's pay attention fully to what she has to share 
Hey there, thank you so much, Matthew, for that wonderful introduction. It's always so great to be able to get together and serve people together. It's one of the, my favorite parts of working from home. Hey there, um, as you know, my name is Eileen Harris, and we have amazing training for you today. So I'm just going to dive right in, get ready, start taking notes, because today I'm going to give you a ton of content. In fact, I'm going to teach you today how to capture leads using Facebook. Oftentimes, people find it hard to grow their list, to get their information in front of more people. I'm going to show you what you need to do to get people's email addresses off of Facebook. Also, I'm going to teach you how to attract high quality fans. Having high quality fans is extremely important because I'm going to show you how high quality fans turn into excited and raving customers that will then attract other customers for you. We're also going to talk about how to increase sales using Facebook. We don't just want you to be the most popular kid on the block. I definitely want you to be the most converting kid on the block. And we're going to talk about way more than that, but I want you to right now, if you still haven't done it, go ahead and grab that paper and that pen because you are going to be learning a lot. Perhaps right now you find yourself relating to one of these things. Uh, many of us have a lot of great information, but not enough people to see it. Have you written a wonderful blog or do you have this great video that you recorded and you have the answer to people's questions? You have a solution to someone's problem, but not enough people are seeing it. What if you have a great product, a product that is unique to the market, never before seen, yet no one knows about it, so you have very little sales? What if you have a great story? Maybe it's rags to riches. Maybe you've lost a bunch of weight. Uh, whatever your story may be, it's probably very inspiring. It's very unique. It could change people's lives, but there's no one to listen to it. What if you have a solution to a problem, whether it's simple or complex? You can't really help anyone solve their problems if no one knows about it. So if you're in this, any of these situations, you have to listen up and stay all the way through the end of this webinar because you can no longer go without this information. You can no longer keep what you have to offer a secret. It would be like having the best movie, the most moving story, the best graphics, right? The best actors and actresses and an empty theater. That would be terrible. You would never see that, right? You see them promoting movies, you see people getting the excitement going because it's very important to get people in front of that movie. Well, now it's time for you to learn how you too can have a packed out theater, how you too can continue to impact people's lives and reach your goal, right? Because I'm pretty sure you created your story, created your videos, or wrote your book, or joined a company to sell products or services because you stand behind it, because you know you can help others, because you know people need this. So if you already know that, you definitely need a way to get it in front of as many people as possible without you having to go door to door with flyers. Unfortunately, there are some misconceptions about Facebook ads. Some people think you need a lot of money to succeed. That's for millionaires, that's for big companies like Amazon.com or stores like Target.com or even Walmart. What would a small business owner have to benefit from Facebook? Well, I'm going to tell you, you do not need a lot of money to succeed. Facebook is just as profitable for big companies as it is for small companies. So just because you have a small company, you do not need to have a small mindset. Know right now that it is a myth and Facebook can be profitable for you. Some say ads are difficult to post. Well, I'll tell you this. Once you know exactly what to do, you'll realize that as long as you have the right instructions, that you're able to follow along without technical experience, without having to go to school for months or years. It's something that you can very easily implement. So ads are not difficult to post. 
Some say, well, great, but I don't know where my money's going. You cannot track the return on investment. You have no idea if you're making money from your ads or which ads are working. That is not true. Facebook has wonderful tools that will help you track how many leads you're getting per ad, who is buying. It helps you come to the realization and help you calculate how much you pay for a sale. So for instance, how what is your customer acquisition? Does it cost me $10 to make $100? Does it cost me $5 to make $1,000? For everyone it's different. The point is you can track it. It's a science. It's not guesswork. And the biggest myth there is about Facebook ads is that ads won't reach people. Could you imagine what a big misunderstanding? Ads are a great way to reach people and they definitely reach people, but not just anybody, the right people, your target customer. For instance, if right now I'm selling vegetables and veggie meats and things for vegetarians, I can target vegetarians and there's cool ways to find out how you can do it. But if I'm selling beef, I definitely won't be targeting vegetarians, right? Because they don't eat meat. So little differences like that make a huge, huge impact on your business. Because not only can you reach people, which already debunks the myth, but you can reach the right people. So knowing all of that is extremely important. Facebook ads can help you reach a ton of people. You are in total control of the budget. I've heard of people doing ads for as little as two dollars a day and Facebook will not let you spend more than two hundred and fifty dollars a day for ads so you tell Facebook exactly how much you want to expand your business how many people you want to get in front of also you are able to expand your network using Facebook ads. That is extremely important because if you live in a small town or perhaps you live in Canada or the Philippines or Thailand or Brazil, but you want to do business in a different country, but don't have the time or the interest of getting on an airplane and going door to door, meeting all these people, Facebook ads is a great way to leverage your information, your story, your product, and reach people from all over the world from the comfort of your home. And with that, you can get more contact. Think of the relationships you can build, all of the quality people you can attract to you thanks to Facebook. And gaining visibility is extremely beneficial to your business. Think about it. Right now, if I were to leave the house and I'm thinking, okay, I need to book a plane ticket or I need to go buy a bag of french fries or something, I would think, hmm, who sells french fries? I bet there is someone here nearby that sells the best french fries in the world, but I don't know them. Who do I know? I know McDonald's, I know Burger King, I know, for instance, Walmart, but I don't know all the other small businesses. Why? Because the big businesses has taken the time to become more visible. But just because you're a small business doesn't mean you can't do that. You have to increase your visibility so that when people think, hmm, I need to buy X, Y, and Z, and that's what you sell, you should be able to be top of mind. You know what they say, out of sight, out of mind? You don't want that to happen to you. You want people to see your brand and to learn about it so that when they're ready to purchase, they know exactly where to find you. And more importantly, Facebook ads is a great way to advertise because you get more data to track your results. When there is a billboard just sitting there advertising something on the side of a highway, you have absolutely no idea after how many cars driving by at what speed you can make a sale. You just don't know. What if it's raining? What if there's a tree in the way? No one can see it. What about TV commercials? People can just as easily walk away and say, hmm, I have to use the restroom. I got a phone call and they leave the TV on. 
So the TV station will tell you all the great ratings, but you're not really sure if they're paying full attention. The TV could be on mute for all you know. On the radio station, if you promote, you know, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. So Facebook is a great way to track your results. In fact, the average company saw a 185% increase in sales after crossing the 1,000 Facebook fans. So could you imagine that's almost 200% in sales? And it doesn't say the 1 million mark of fans. It didn't say 100,000. It said 1,000 Facebook fans. That is extremely important to note because what could a 185% increase do for your business? What could it do for people? What if more people knew about your products? What if more people knew about the service and the wonderful things you have to offer? How many more people could you help once they knew that you had the answers to their problems? I myself found myself in a similar situation, kind of like yourself. I needed new leads. I had this great information product. I needed people to find out about it, but because I'm busy with my home-based business, I didn't really have the time to also talk to them by word of mouth about this product. I had very little time, but just because I have little time and I had small leads, didn't mean that I didn't have big goals, but big goals for me were I was kind of intimidated by them at first because I had a very small budget. But you know what? I said to myself, one, I'm not going to give up. And two, I would rather get some results, even with my small budget, than getting absolutely no results, right? I would rather do something and get something then do nothing and get nothing so that did not stop me even though I had big goals I said okay I have a little bit of time I have a little bit of money but I definitely need more leads so that is when I started looking at Facebook ads I posted my ad and the most wonderful thing happened I was sleeping and when I woke up we had made a sale and I just couldn't believe it. I was so shocked. My birthday is actually on Christmas Eve. So my birthday is the day before Christmas. And I had the exact same butterflies I had that day when I knew I had made money while I was sleeping because Facebook was working for me. My little assistant, basically, my Facebook ad, I had the same butterflies when I made that sale. I said, oh my goodness, what leverage. I didn't have to do anything. This happened happened automatically and I added great value to others that was such a good feeling too because had I not posted that ad I would not have made that sale in Peru imagine how was I from the United States going to ever show this product to someone in Peru I just didn't have the time and how would I have known that that person in particular needed it it's not because I didn't want to it's not for lack of effort it's because it is way more efficient to leverage my time. So there I was making money in my sleep, adding great value to others. In only one month, just one month, we got 1,000 new leads. Imagine what 1,000 new emails would do to your list. 6,000 new Facebook likes and increased our sales by 100%. What would happen if you sold 100 times over what you sell now? How would that change your life? How many more people could you serve? How many more problems could you solve in the world? How many people could you inspire? It was such a wonderful feeling. Look at this. In, it was a newsfeed ad. It had almost 2,000 likes, 82 comments, almost 400 people shared it now imagine that if each of those people had about a thousand friends on Facebook how many more people saw my ad right look at this Facebook tells me the ad reached about a hundred thousand people I there's no way I would have had any time on my own to present my information to a hundred thousand people on my own in just a month I couldn't do it. I don't have people flooding into stadiums ready to hear me speak because they're like, hey, great, here's a small business and that's great information. Let's see if it's for me. Absolutely not. But guess what? People are flooding to Facebook every day and there I was showing them the information. It was just so wonderful. 
And then some people may think, well, you got lucky, right? You got something viral, you had an influential person sharing it. You, people always come up with great ideas why it could happen to me, but not to you. Well, guess what? It was not a one-time thing. I did not get lucky. It works because I did it again. This time with even less money, with only $5 a day, and I did it for five days, so I only spent $25, I got 500 new likes on a Facebook fan page, over 350 new email addresses, my sales increased by 100%, as if that wasn't enough, the ads paid for themselves. I made my money right back on my ads and made a profit, Imagine all these people, 500 plus, learned about the brand, saw the information, and I was able to find my target market, and they were able to discover me. Doesn't it feel good when you're perhaps uh, at your town or your local city and you find this one little restaurant not many people know about, or you find this great clothing store and you get the best service, Aren't you excited you discovered it on your own? You weren't advertised to per se on a commercial. No one yelled at you from the street and said, hey, come to my store, come to my store. We get that a lot here in the Dominican Republic. How much more special is it for you when you found something, found it extremely valuable, and now you wanna share it with others, right? Because it's kind of like your secret gem, your discovery. Well, people can feel that way about your brand. When people found me, they were like, wow, I have to tell my friends. People were tagging everyone they knew in my ad. Can you imagine that? It was like, thanks, I'm already paying on Facebook to get my word out, but now you're helping me because they felt like they had found this gem. Finally, someone understands my pain. Someone understands that I needed this information and I know other people looking for it too. So it was just phenomenal. And that was only with $5 a day. I say it a lot, but I cannot stress it enough. Facebook ads are extremely affordable and you can see success if you do it the right way. It's kind of like if you walk onto a baseball field, a football field, a soccer field, you can win at the game as long as you know the rules. So as long as you know how to maximize Facebook, not only can you get unlimited leads, but you can increase your sales. The best part about everything happening is that right now my husband and I are in the Dominican Republic. So we're on this island having ice cream by the beach, building our online business. As long as we have a Wi-Fi connection, we're fine. And people are joining the list from all sorts of countries, from all over the world. People in Spain, in the Philippines, in Thailand, in Malaysia, in Brazil, in Peru, in Puerto Rico, in Jamaica. People just keep joining left and right. And here we are at the beach so facebook ads gave us the most phenomenal leverage of our time because not only can we make money in our sleep but when we wake up we're not waking up to slave away per se over products that can sell itself not because it's so fabulous it sells itself but because it's being presented in front of the right people the right way and there's a great way to serve them so because of all of my experiences, I teach people how to successfully use Facebook ads to increase visibility and make sales in their sleep so they can live the life they love. So if this sounds like you, are you ready to get more people to see you on Facebook? Are you ready to make money on your sleep, in your sleep? Are you ready to live the life you love? Well, then this is for you. I can help you. Now for my legal friends watching this, uh, you know who you are. I'll say this just to put it out there. Results vary, they sure do. I don't know how people will react to what you're offering. Results are not guaranteed. Results are not typical. Anything could happen, right? But if I did it, why can't you? Why not? I'm a small business owner as well, and I had success, so other small businesses can do it the same. This is not about luck. This is about strategy.
That is why you need to learn how to use Facebook ads to make more sales and help more people. If you truly have a solution to a problem, then you need to say that to as many people as possible. It's selfish not to. It's selfish to wait and see who you can talk to on a one-to-one -one basis. You need to find a way to leverage your time so that you can help as many people as possible. So I don't want you to get overwhelmed and I want you to see that we're gonna break this up into three parts. First part is we're gonna talk about getting unlimited leads, then we're gonna transition over getting raving fans, and then we're going to talk about increasing sales. Let's start with getting unlimited leads. Some people are like, well, Facebook ads isn't the only way to get leads. There's other ways. Absolutely, there are slower ways to get traffic. One, you can write a blog post and hope that uh, other people read it or people on your list open their emails, or you can write a blog on someone else's blog. That's called guest blogging. So finding a blog with tons and tons of readers and writing your story or contributing an article, and then that will help you connect with more people. That's a lot slower as they share new blog posts. Your blog kind of gets to the bottom of the list and it's no longer right there on the front part of their blog. You kind of have to dig for it and dig through old blog posts. So it's not always a great way to get rapid fire, increase consistent traffic. Other people try SEO strategies. If you're not familiar with those, it's called search engine optimization. That is when people type into Bing or to Google and they say how to cook chicken, how to get leads on Facebook. And you then try to be that top person. You try and tell Google, hey, it's me. I have the answer to their question. I should be on the first page of the search results when people search for this. But guess what Google does? Google changes their algorithm, which is just a fancy word for a really long formula Google uses to decide who gets to be in the front. So here people are changing their strategies and as they change their SEO strategies, so does Google. So here's what I can tell you about SEO strategies. Good luck. Then some people say occasionally sharing on your Facebook wall will work, right? I have 5,000 friends. I just have to share a blog post and they're just going to buy it. Well, first, I'm going to tell you this. Maybe your friends are not your target market. Maybe you haven't made any sales, not because you're not any good, not because your product and service aren't worth it, but because perhaps you're selling beef to vegetarians and it's just not gonna work. Doesn't matter how pretty you put it, what discount you offer, they're just not buying it, right? So the other part to occasionally sharing on your Facebook wall is that Facebook has something fancy called the edge rank. And the edge rank is a formula Facebook Facebook uses to decide what gets displayed in someone's newsfeed. So just because you posted it on your wall, it does not mean that your friends see it. In fact, less than 10% of your friends actually see what you post on your wall. So you can't just rely on sharing on your Facebook wall. Some people say, well, I have my friends and families and some emails on my email list from my blog. Well, as you know, emails either get sent to spam folders, they either get sent to junk, or people are busy or inundated with other things in their inbox and they will not open it. It does not mean that they do not need your information or that they don't want it. It means you cannot rely on email to make money. You cannot rely on any of these slower ways to traffic as to get traffic alone to find success in your small business. Because remember, small business does not have to equal small goals. So here's just the honest truth about relying on any of these strategies in particular to getting information. However, on the other hand, leads from Facebook are great to prospect with because you already know exactly who you're targeting. If they saw your ad, it means that Facebook used that fancy formula to get to them. So Facebook is helping you reach your target market and they're online, they're looking for information. If they clicked on it, you know they're even more interested. So that's wonderful. Fan pages allow you to run ads to your target market, not your profile page. 
So now you can get a lot more exposure. Your profile page only allows you to have 5,000 friends, whereas your fan page allows you to have unlimited fans. So think about how much more can your business grow if you're no longer limited to your 5,000 friends. And of course, Facebook is the number one tool worldwide to have success. It has hundreds of millions of daily users worldwide. I don't think that any TV station or any particular radio station or your local newspaper or local bulletin board can say that. Facebook has so much traffic, it's hard to miss your target market. It's almost impossible. So leads from Facebook are great to work with. That is why your goal should be to add value. Make people feel good about sharing your information and looking through it. People are busy. Their time is gold. Why should they stop scrolling on Facebook to look through your things? How can you add value? Your goal should also be to increase visibility. How can I get more people in front of my information? How can I expose more people to my sales funnel? Then your next goal should be to take the conversation out of Facebook. Do not just rely on Facebook or Facebook likes or anything like that. You must get their email address. I know not everyone opens their email addresses, but your raving fans will. Hot and excited people will. And it's a great way for you to always contact them. Most importantly, you have to increase social proof. Remember earlier I said that a hundred an 85% increase in sales was seen when Facebook fan pages crossed that 1,000 fan mark? Well, why? Because they're like, okay, if a thousand people have raised their hands and said, hey, I want to learn more about your brand, send me more updates. I stand by this, I think this is awesome, I like this information, then other people can say, hmm, maybe there's something to it. It's kind of like if you pass by a restaurant and there's a line that wraps around the parking lot, you're like, wow, the food must be really good if there's a line that wraps around the parking lot. Now, if there's crickets, there's tapes on the window, if there's cobwebs and spiders everywhere, the lights are off, you don't see anyone in there, it's kind of like, mm, they probably don't have anything going on for them. Why? Because it had no social proof. Even if that restaurant had the best chef in the world, it didn't have the line running outside of the store, wrapping around the parking lot. That's what you need on your Facebook fan page. People raising their hand, vouching for you, saying, this is kind of cool. I think you should look at it too. Facebook newsfeed ads are one of my favorite ways to market. Why? Because they convert more than right column ads. People are already on their newsfeed. They're already scrolling. They don't even look like ads. It looks like a regular status post. So what happens? People's guard are down. When I'm watching a commercial on TV, I'm critically thinking about it. I'm thinking, how much is this gonna cost? Is this a gimmick? How long is this gonna last for? Is this even gonna work? But when I'm on Facebook, I'm there because my friends are there, because I'm relaxed, because I'm taking a break from work. I'm not thinking, oh my goodness, I shouldn't click on this, they might try and sell me something. It's just my mind is not there. So that's what I absolutely love about Facebook newsfeed ads. They do not look like ads, but most importantly, you can see them on a mobile phone. Most Facebook users are now using their Facebook app on their cell phones. The right column ads are nowhere to be seen on the mobile phones. So you definitely do not want to miss out on that income opportunity or the ability to gain leads. Just because people are on their cell phones, you want to cater to that. Also, Facebook newsfeed ads have increased conversions. More people give you their email address, more people want to opt in because less people are guarded, because less people even realize what happened. They're just seeing, hey, I'm on Facebook, I'm here to talk to friends, but what a cool thing, I happened to stumble upon something I needed, something I like, something I want, and they're going to feel good about giving you that email address.
the Facebook newsfeed ads also allow you to pay as you get interaction. So not only can you start with a small budget, but you don't just have to blow your small budget on anything. You can tell Facebook, I will pay when someone clicks on it. That's called using the cost per click method, the CPC. And so it's extremely important for you to know that because not only am I paying with a small budget on Facebook, but I only pay when Facebook makes it worth my while. So if people aren't looking at it, then Facebook isn't doing their job. It's a win-win situation. They're motivated to make money, so they'll show it to more people. I get increased visibility, and I only pay when someone is interested enough to click on my ad. It's just wonderful. Here's a great example of a Facebook newsfeed ad. Here you see a beautiful, great image. Look at all this interaction, almost 10,000 likes, over 1,000 shares. Look at that over 300 comments. Can you, have you ever been able to interact with a TV ad? Have you ever been able to share a billboard you're driving by or share something you heard on the radio? There's no confusion here. There's nothing getting lost in translation. All the people have to do is share it and their friends can see exactly what they saw. Now, Facebook tries to help you out increasing your visibility and they try to help you increasing your social proof. Look at this big old button right here that I absolutely love and it's a call to action. It says like page. So Facebook is saying, hey, you like this ad? It caught your attention? You like what they're saying? Why don't you just like their page? And every time they post something, you can now have the opportunity to see it on your newsfeed. These advertisers are really smart and they're taking the conversation out of Facebook. They have a link right there. So for more information, you know exactly where to go. You click on there and you're able to learn more. So if that wasn't enough, not only do I know to like the page, not only do I have the opportunity to interact with it, but it tells me which one of my friends already liked it. So hey, I can like it too. Uh, people like to be doing what others are doing. People like to belong. So I want to like it too because already Alexis and Rocio click like on it. So look at that. People are already raising their hand saying, hey friend, you might want to like this too. Thanks to the Facebook ads. Now if you see at the very bottom in very light gray, it says sponsored. No one even notices that because that is not the interesting part of the ad. The image, the link, the content, the logo, my friends already liked it, the like button, that's all pulling my attention away from the fact that it's an actual ad. So if I zoom out, here you can see the ad right next to those right column ads. See, no one is really interacting with them. They're small, they're on the side, they don't call your attention like this big news feed, eye-popping, eye-catching ad does. So it's definitely why you wanna use Facebook news feed ads. Here's another great example of a newsfeed ad. Over here, you see that it's sponsored. It's very small and gray. And you see great benefits here, right? Learn how we are using webinars. So they say already, what's gonna happen? Why is this interesting to you? Look at this giant image Facebook gives you. So people hear why this is beneficial to them, what they're gonna get out of it so that they feel good about it. You have this huge image that catches their attention and then there is a call to add action. So as people's eyes start reading and scrolling down, there's this big old button Facebook gives you that says sign up. Now, the buttons don't always have to say sign up. Facebook has buttons that say uh, register here, buy now, sign up, etc., etc. What a wonderful way for someone to say, wow, this is free, this looks really helpful. I want to get more information. I think it's wonderful. Unfortunately, sometimes people think, well, I have a great Facebook ad, and so that's it, I'm done. I can relax, guess what? Sometimes people click on your ad, but they need a little bit more information. They're a little bit more curious, so when they get to your page, they should have a second option to opt in, to give you that email address, to go from curious person or fan to lead, to prospect. 
So I say use your cover photo. It is the biggest image Facebook will give you right now. You can put a ton of information on it, but you can also serve your audience. Look right here on Matthew's page. It says, learn how to crack the Facebook code. So just like we would in the ad, there is a great benefit headline. Then there is a great high quality image telling you exactly what you're getting. And then here's a call to action. Click to get the free video series. So they know exactly what they're getting. Not only did I say it's free, what it's going to do, but you know now that it's in the form of a video. So that is a wonderful way to utilize your cover photo while you're running ads. Another fan page here, the Entrepreneurs Academy, look at their cover photo, how strategically it's being used. It says click here to get the free guide. So while you're seeing her ads, if you are perhaps interested but didn't take action right then and there, you don't have to worry about them finding your link by luck. You don't have to worry about that because if they go to your page, there is that second opportunity to get that email address. So now that you know how to get leads, let's talk about getting raving fans. Raving fans are extremely important for your business because raving fans share. My husband and I recently had this great meal at a local restaurant. It had this wonderful chicken and they only do it once a week. So now when I talk to people and they're looking for great chicken, I want to tell them, oh my goodness, you have to go to this one place and it's only available on Thursday nights. I want people to hear about it. It makes me feel good because I know I'm giving them great information. I'm helping them out. And in return, the business owner is able to succeed. Think about other brands that are extremely successful, such as Harley Davidson. There's people who ride the Harley Davidson motorcycles who get the Harley Davidson tattoo on their body. Now that is a raving fan when they're ready to put the tattoo of a logo of a company on their body. Why? Because the company has built community, because they have these great events, because they add great value. So people are more than happy to share about it. I do not expect anyone to ever get a tattoo with my face or my name on it or a company logo, nothing like that. But I can make people so excited and I can help them have such a great experience with my brand that I can help them become raving fans and they in return will share. When someone clicks like on your page, you have to develop a relationship with them. What else are you offering them? Are you uh, providing them with inspiration, with entertainment? You have to think, what then? Imagine throwing a wedding or a birthday party or a graduation party or New Year's Eve party. You tell everyone, please come, please come. And you have a room full of people and then there's nothing. There is no food, there is no music, there is nowhere to sit. It's just a bunch of people congregated looking at each other quietly. Nothing is happening. Imagine a theater full of people and no movie playing. The same thing can happen on your Facebook page. If you want raving fans, you can't just run a Facebook ad. You have to serve people on a daily basis and develop a relationship with them to increase that trust. The more trust they have, the more they see you as an expert in your area, the more they will buy. That's why you have to, every single day, continue to add value as they're on Facebook. Because people are not on Facebook to buy. I know it's surprising when you have such a great product and you know they need it or their life will change once they have this service, but it's really not what they're there for. People are on Facebook to maybe better their lives, right? To take a break from the stress. They're on Facebook because they're ready for distraction at work, right? So when you show them something, you have to add to their lives, add value. Now constantly request that they give you their money. And these are the top three ways to add value to someone's life. Doing all of these three, not one or the other, but all of them will help you optimize for your Facebook strategy. So once you're running the ad, you don't end up having that empty theater, right? Or I mean the theater full of people and nothing to watch. You need to do it all. First thing you want to do is entertain. People are not on Facebook to buy. So what's 
funny. What can you show them that's a little bit humorous? Maybe a story of your own, right? How have you made a comical mistake in the past? Sometimes we tell people it's not just about business, right? Sometimes you have to take a break. You have to take care of yourself. It's important for you to keep your stress levels low. So something entertaining I shared one time was when I came home and I was exhausted and I was so upset my phone was not working and I kept dialing and I kept dialing, but my phone did not work. Why didn't my phone work? Because I was dialing the remote control on my TV. Now, you don't have to share embarrassing moments like that like I just did, but hey, that would entertain someone. That would show someone, hey, this isn't a brand. This is a real person, a real person I can trust. You also want to educate people because the more you teach people, the more they will see you as an expert because who else would have known that information? A novice wouldn't have known that information. An amateur wouldn't have been able to give them that information, but an expert would. So here's some great ways to show them information. It could be in an image. It can be a blog post. It can be a video. There's so many ways. It doesn't even have to be your own training. Show them other websites. It doesn't mean you're going to send sales to another website, but it shows that you're an expert in your field and experts can point to multiple sources that agree with them. So for instance, what if there was a segment on the television I found on YouTube saying, this ingredient in your food is extremely important to lose weight. Wow, that ingredient is in the product I sell. So now here you're educating people. It's not just you, you have third party credibility. You're optimizing your Facebook and you didn't even have to create the content. So that is a wonderful way to serve people. Also inspire people, especially if your story, your story is your selling point. Help them come to a decision. Get people excited about taking action. Maybe they're having a bad day and they know they can come to to you because you can give them that extra push they need during the day. Then what happens if you have a big list of inspired people? When you start selling, they're already conditioned to take action. They've all, they're not in a rut. You've helped them be in a better mood so that that much better mood, the endorphins in their brain can help them make a much better decision to buy. All of these things matter. So remember, entertain, educate, and inspire. Here's some great tools and resources to do all of that. You can go to infogr.am and that is to create an infogram. An infogram is a graphic, an image that has statistics, it has images, it gives people great information in a concise matter. For instance, a great infogram would be um, the top 10 foods to buy at the grocery store right? A great list of services you need to have a much easier lifestyle, right? How to do more in less time. So depending on what your industry is, there is always a way to find an, a way to create an infogram. And that website is free. You can also go to pickmonkey.com and get one of your own images. And you can put in text on it and say, click here to register. You can create your own images for your own Facebook ads. Another great website to use to edit photos is ribbit.com. So that is a wonderful way to get images and catch people's attention. Because when you're on Facebook, sometimes you can scroll past just the Facebook text status. But if you have this great eye-catching image, it will stand out from everything else on their newsfeed. Go to google.com, search for inspiring posts, find entertaining things, find ways to educate people. Feel free to share others' posts. It's okay to give credit where you get, got information from. It makes you look like a team player. People feel good about the information. It's wonderful. Also, you can post videos on Facebook. You can shoot a brief video with your cell phone. You can share a YouTube link. It's up to you but always seek to educate, entertain, and inspire people.
you have to turn the, your followers into fans. That's why you do all of those things I just mentioned. But you have to create massive engagement. What does that mean? You want people sharing what you share. You want people commenting what you share. You want people clicking like because that tells Facebook, hey, hello, um, dear Ed Drink and Facebook's funny little formula. The next time this fan page shares something, please make sure I see it again. So you have to create massive engagement. So use video, let them see that you're a real person. Sometimes people think that using video means that you have to be in front of the camera. You can easily record what's happening on your computer screen and give people a quick tutorial. Show them how else they can use your information. Use high quality images. I just gave you great resources and high quality images will indicate that you're also a high quality brand. It will show people that you took the time to give them something worthwhile. Be sure to include subtle calls to action, CTAs. Why? Because now Facebook got a little savvy. Facebook knows when you right click like share if you agree leave a comment below they know so let's use subtle calls to action perhaps you share a blog posts and tell them what do you think now you're asking them for their opinion that will increase your engagement perhaps you shared something you say has this ever happened to you now people can reply yes or no or add a story of when it did happen to them that will increase your engagement that will help you turn your followers into fans you want them turning into fans, in fact, raving fans, because raving fans equal loyal customers. There are certain brands that we buy, be it in a bag of apples or shoes, sneakers, maybe bedding for my bed, etc. And I will only buy from that brand because I have such a good relationship with them because they have never let me down. So why go experiment with something else? Even if I have to pay more, let your customers have the exact same experience with you and doing so will help you increase your sales. Now to increase your sales, it's not just posting a Facebook ad and magically people will know what to do. You have to get their email address and to get their email address is best to add value. So what are you promising them? A free video tutorial, a free PDF checklist, PDF meaning it's a file they can open on their computer and easily print it out, an ebook you wrote, a list, a framework of some sort. You have to get their email address with the promise that you're gonna give them something in exchange for it. So they feel really good giving you their contact information. Once they do that, you must follow through on your promise. You must have an autoresponder in place that will immediately, I mean seconds after, email them exactly what you said they would get. Now that you have their email address and you follow through on your promise, it's time to follow up and upsell. Perhaps you gave them a free PDF on the top 10 ways to lose weight. Then the next emails are helping them understand great recipes for let's say protein shakes to lose weight. And here you have, you ha your company happens to sell protein shakes and you can recommend it right then and there. Because you followed through on their, your promise, because you're adding value, they're gonna see you as an expert, they're gonna trust you and you're going to be able to increase sales. This is just as useful for products as it is for services. The top 10 reasons why you need X, Y, and Z service. Top 10 ways to maximize this service. Help them utilize what you're selling. Help them understand how it fits into their life. That is the best way to increase your sales. 57% of Facebook users like brands for discounts and promotions. So what can you do? How can you treat them like a VIP customer? How can you take care of them? How can you show people on Facebook that it is because they're working with you and only you that they're able to get such great value? Here's an excellent example of how to make that happen with an ad. This is a great company, Audible, where you can listen to books rather than reading them and they say 30 day free trial offer. Now please, 
know that you do not have to give someone something free for 30 days to have success on Facebook. Perhaps you can give them a brief discount. Perhaps you can give them an opportunity to get something else, maybe a free PDF with their purchase, right? A free video tutorial with their purchase. It's not an actual product you have to ship that will cost you money. But people do like to think that they got a great bargain. So I'm happy to give it to them. So here they are, they have this great value, they have this great discount. You see at the top, it shows you which ones of my friends already liked it. Look at this amazing image reminding them of the wonderful benefits they will find from getting this 30 day trial. And then at the bottom, what a wonderful call to action and a great way to follow up. It's saying sign up. Facebook literally tells people, get this. Here's a big old button to click. I absolutely love it. It catches your attention. It makes people feel like they got a great discount or a great promotion and you are able to get unlimited leads this way get raving fans because wow, they were able to try it. They were able to get value and then that will help you increase your sales. As long as you love and respect your customers, they will return the favor. As long as I go to a restaurant and I have great food, I will happily recommend that restaurant and return to it. So do that for people. Don't have a ton of hungry people showing up to your restaurant and there you are with no food. You have to add value. You have to respect their time that they came to you for your products, your services, your knowledge, your information. So serve them to the best of your ability. Unfortunately, when people get on Facebook, even if they're running ads, they make mistakes. People tend to buy fans. Buying fans is not a good thing, why? Because those fans do not engage with your product. They do not buy anything from you and people can tell. I've gone to pages where there's over 100,000 fans and only two people click like on their status posts. Really? Out of 100,000 people, only two liked what you shared? I'm pretty sure that this means that you're either not adding any value or that you bought your fans. Buying fans, yeah, you may feel like your ego is stroked, like, wow, look at all these people. My Facebook fan page has more fans than the other person, right? But that's not focusing on quality. You're just focusing on quantity and they're not, they may not even be your target customer. So it would be like buying 100,000 fans of people who are vegetarians and I'm selling beef. That's not gonna be good for business, so do not buy fans. Like I showed you earlier, Facebook helps you get likes on your page just from running newsfeed ads. Don't have multiple Facebook fan pages if it's going to distract you, it's going to confuse people, what is it that you're selling, it's going to be hard to truly focus and do something right in one page. And never ever ever lose professionalism. People think, oh I'm on Facebook, I can hide behind my computer screen, no one's ever going to know it was me, nobody cares. Just because you're not in an office with a suit and a tie does not mean that people do not expect your utmost respect and your utmost professionalism. So what do I mean by that? Don't sit there and just speak ill of other brands. Don't sit there and bash other companies. Don't sit there and try and make your competitors look bad. Don't share vulgar things. Only share relevant things. Do not lose your professionalism. Doing everything I just described will help you successfully complete the Facebook conversion process. The Facebook conversion process is my formula that I use to take a fan into a lead, right? The fan is somebody who's on Facebook, they may have found my page out of, um, by mistake or through an ad, but now they're a lead when I have their email address. Once I have a lead, I need to serve them and follow through on my promise so that now I can prospect them. When I prospect them, I'm able to sell to them. And when I sell to them and they buy, because I use the utmost professionalism, because they were my target market, because I solved a problem problem for them because I was their light in their darkness they are now a raving customer so this is the exact process I use to make money in my sleep
So I know we learned a lot today, especially if you're taking notes, let's review briefly. Today you learned how to capture leads using Facebook. Now you know how important it is to run a Facebook ad and how to optimize it. You now know how to attract high quality fans because doing so will help you have the right people on your, on your list and you don't waste anyone's time and no one wastes yours. And now you know the exact formula to increase sales using Facebook in addition to me sharing with you wonderful tools and behind the scenes secrets that we use ourselves to have great success using Facebook. Do you now see how powerful Facebook is for your business when done right? Do you see what using these strategies could do for you? Imagine increasing your sales by 100%, by 200% or more. What would that do for your lifestyle, for your business, for your family? That is why we're ready to take it a step further. It's time for you to turn your Facebook page into your own personal ATM. That's why I want to present to you my amazing course, Facebook Paid Advertising Secrets. This course is phenomenal. It is exactly what I do. And I help you know step by step how to do it on your own. In this Facebook Newsfeed Ads course, you will learn what your sales funnel should look like. What should people see after they give me their email address? What should I do? What tools should you use for your sales funnel? How to increase traffic and conversions? How can you increase your sales? How can you get more people to opt into your list? Where to find your target market? How to find them? Can you imagine selling beef to vegetarians, selling movies at a restaurant, or selling food at a movie theater? It's backwards, right? You need to sell the right thing to the right people at the right time, and I can show you how. The course also covers the top three ways to add value using Facebook newsfeed ads extensively. Also, I give you step-by-step -step directions on how to post a Facebook newsfeed ad so that you do not experience any confusion. The only way for you to win a game is if you know the rules and if you know how to follow the rules. And that is why I'm going to show you exactly what tools to use to have a successful newsfeed ad. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to talk about how to create a conversion pixel to track results. Remember I mentioned that it's important for you to know that in Facebook you have a re an ability to track your return on investment. Well, I'm going to show you how to put a piece of code in your pages so you know exactly how many people are registering to your email address from your Facebook ad and so you know exactly how much money it's costing you to acquire a customer. I'm also going to show you how to use the power editor. The power editor is this amazing tool that Facebook uses to optimize your ads so that you get the most results from the least amount of money. I'm also going to show you how to create a high quality ad image. What do you have to have in your image? What are the musts? There's little secrets I have to help me get such great results with a small budget. I'm then going to show you how to use Facebook graph search for market research. You don't have to hire a big and fancy marketing firm. You don't have to read any confusing statistics. I'm going to show you simple ways to find your target market so that you're never confused, right? If you want to target um, women, if you want to target men, if you want to target different ages, different behaviors, I'm going to show you exactly how to use Facebook graph search for your market. I'm also going to show you how to target your email list. Do you already have a list of contacts? Do you have already have a way for people to get uh, information from you? What if you can find those exact people on Facebook and instead of relying on them to open an email from you, they could see your ad on their newsfeed, targeting them directly. Isn't that amazing? It's something you definitely need to know. I'm also going to share with you the list of top marketing books. You want to be on your A game. You don't just want to post an ad, you want to post a successful ad. You want people to be able to find you. 
most importantly, as Facebook gets updated, you will get updated on how to use it and how those changes apply to you. So as Facebook changes their look and you don't know where to click or how to do it, I will update the course so that you know exactly what to do and you never ever ever find yourself lost again and trying to post your Facebook newsfeed ad. This course has a total value of $697. But Matthew and I thought that, especially for a small business owner, that we could come up with something better. So I'm gonna pass it over to Matthew because Matthew has this incredible, unbelievable offer that you can only get here today. So let me pass it on to Matthew. Hey guys, Matthew here. Didn't Eileen just crush it? When I talk about the best value for any time that you could have spent trying to learn how to get more folks to see your brand, see your product line, see your business, there, in our opinion, there's no other better way to do this. This is what we lived. <laughs> this is how we're living. And this is what we're utilizing in our business today. And so guys, you can absolutely see the value, I'm sure yourselves, of what you can get when you get through that course. But we wanted to make this absolutely a no brainer. And a lot of you guys, most of you guys actually, if not all, are already in some kind of home-based business. Business. Maybe you're in a network marketing company, a direct sales company, and you've been tr trying to figure out how to leverage the internet to really bring folks to your doorstep, to have people hunting you down instead of you having to hunt after other people. And so what we've done is we decided to take this course, the Facebook Paid Advertising Secrets course, and actually integrate this directly into our online platform, our online training platform called the MLM Breakthrough Academy. And so here's what I'm going to share with you. You're going to be able to get complimentary access to the MLM and Breakthrough Academy when you pick up Eileen's Facebook course today. And here's what you're all going to get completely packaged together. We wanted to give you an absolute massive head start on crushing your goals in 2014. So not only will you get the Facebook paid advertising secrets, which is valued at $697 by itself, you'll also access our six-figure catalog of training as part of your monthly MLM Breakthrough Academy membership. And the total catalog value of training is over $40,000 that you can access in trainings from not just now, but next month and the month after that. And so as you're developing your business, you may be trying to figure out how to do email marketing. So we have information for that. You may be trying to figure out how to leverage the, let's see, video marketing or things like YouTube and things like that. And so we've got trainings for that in that area specifically. How to maybe leverage live events, how to go off there and create your sales funnel with the five-figure formula training. That, that's actually my groundbreaking training that changed my life when I was Eileen puts together the how to get trafficked to our websites. I'm show you how to actually take that traffic and convert that into leads, into prospects, and into sales and new business partners in your business. And so you get the five figure formula training as well. That's valued at a thousand dollars, absolutely complimentary when you get started today. As well as every single month, we actually do a mastermind coaching calls once a month. With that every single month for an hour long, where you can ask us questions or you can hear from us specifically on what we've been using and that has worked and also is talking about what doesn't work from our own experience so you can cut down your learning curve in a massive way as well as we created a special complimentary VIP a mastermind Facebook group for support for networking and for any educational questions as well just for this community of folks that around the world that are leveraging the internet to grow their home-based business and so the total value when it comes down to what we can should charge for this is over fifty thousand dollars absolutely over fifty thousand dollars just so you guys know no, people doing masterminds with Eileen for just a couple of days spend between five to ten thousand dollars for those couple of days. So that's it's incredibly pricey. But here's what you want to think about is not necessarily what you're spending for that, but the value and the impact that this information can have on you and your business. What would it be worth for you to be able to make an extra thousand dollars a month to your bottom line or to add an extra ten thousand dollars a month in income? What would it be like to be able to travel around and take your kids on vacations more often? pick them up from school for a change and have sales still coming into your business, have leads coming to you, have people wanting to join you in your business because of being able to leverage these incredible platforms and in the world that we live in nowadays has completely changed because of the internet. And so being able to absolutely master these strategies can have a major, major impact on your business. So what would that value be? I'm pretty sure it'd be worth well over $500,000 $500, to a million dollars if you look at the value that you're getting 
getting. But we're only talking about fifty thousand dollars. We had to put a price on it, as well as what we wanted to do is put this in a position for anybody to be able to access it. So instead of charging two hundred ninety-seven dollars a month, which is what we were planning on doing for the MLM Breakthrough Academy, we wanted to put a special offer together for just the next couple of days. We can actually get access to the MLM Breakthrough Academy and everything that we just talked about for just forty-seven dollars. Literally right now there is a little button that popped up below this video and you, and you can click on that link. It will take you to the sales page where you can create your account and you can set up your access. And you'll be able to access not only the five figure formula right away but also we'll set you up with Eileen's Facebook uh, paid advertising secrets as well. And then every single month as you're a member and as you, as you continue your subscription with MLM Breakthrough Academy, you can then unlock other courses that you need to help you specifically in your business guys. So we created what we believe is the MBA program for network marketers. The MLM Breakthrough Academy, the acronym is the MBA, right? Master's in Business Administration out there in the traditional business world. This is where for those of you who want to go out there and leverage the internet can absolutely do that. So there's the image of the five-figure formula that you can get for free. Again, the link for that is mlmbreakthroughacademy.com slash live. MLMBreakthroughAcademy.com slash live. And so guys, go ahead and grab that right now. If you have any questions at all, maybe through the order process, or even even if you're trying to not sure if you want to get this at all, you can always contact us through our support desk at support at MLMBreakthroughAcademy.com. And there's a reason we chose the word breakthrough in there. Because breakthroughs are something that happens when you've hit up a, maybe a, a limit in your business or maybe you've hit some wall and you can't figure out how to get to the next step. You can't figure out how to get to the next level or what the next step should be. And so our focus is on helping you break through inside your business and get to the next level. I know that if we had somebody walking us through the steps early on in our business when we hit some major challenges or some roadblocks, some obstacles, and we didn't know what to do next, it would have meant the world to us to be able to have someone who can just show us what it looks like to take that next step to walk us through that process and that's what you'll have access to here peace of mind knowing that your, your training will grow along with you as you continue to increase your success in your business profile online and so guys welcome to the MLM Breakthrough Academy we welcome you to our our special and diverse family from around the world we're excited for you thanks again Eileen for absolutely crushing it we look forward for those of you who are getting started today with the cat with the MLM Breakthrough Academy we look forward to seeing you around our Facebook group and supporting you along your journey to breaking through in your business this year. Take care and until we talk again, our challenge to you is that you dream and then find a way. God bless guys.